Let's take a look at Chantel. Chantel, so wholesome, so big chungus, so nice, and loves animals. I'm sure that whatever I have to talk about regarding Chantel today will, of course, be nice, and it will make everybody happy. Ah, it appears that in Thailand, Chantal took a trip to a Pet the Tiger Zoo, which is where they sedate tigers and declaw them so that fat, retarded tourists can pose and flex next to them while they're drugged out of their fucking mind. And everyone is upset, because obviously they would be. Um, uh, yeah, that's not a joke, by the way. They, they've done... Um, like exposés on these zoos where you can pet the tiger, like in Thailand. This one's actually they've done like expose videos on. The tigers are declawed and they dope them up right before the the tourists come in, so it's perfectly safe. And then of course our this, God, I fucking hate the Kuwaiti guy she's with. Arab men are like disgusting animals. I don't know how else to put it nicely. Like they're so macho. And he's like, hey guys, I stand next to tiger and I flex. And then it's like, well. It's obviously not, he's like, I'm, I'm not afraid. I have not even 0% fear in my body because I am so strong. <laughs> I flex next to tiger. I am so strong. I am man. I am real man. I pose next to beast. <laughs> and then the, the tiger is just like obviously drugged. Like they've shot something into it. They tranquilized it or something. It's like barely, it's just barely keeping its head up. It doesn't have any fucking claws. I don't know if the teeth are filed down or what they do with the teeth, but the animal was just sitting there in a daze and he's like leaning on it and flexing and shit. And it's just like, okay, you fucking monkey. Yeah, I bet you seem real fuck. You're real fucking cool, aren't you, buddy? Next to your, your drugged up pet that would claw your fucking throat out if it had the opportunity to. And it would be fucking base for doing so. Uh, but yeah, obviously people aren't happy about this. She says. There is no proof the tigers are drugged at all. Actually, the place claims they are not. We just love tigers and really appreciate being there in a way for humans to interact a little bit with these majestic creatures. Blocking annoying comments, blaming us for the existence of the zoo. If you are so against us, then go cry somewhere else and watch something else. And uh, this is on her couple's vlog. She has two channels. She has Food and Beauty, where she's a fat, gross, disgusting slob, and she eats food. And then all the haters, like, engage with that content there. And then she has the um, her Take Two channel, which is her and Salah uh, going out to uh, tigers to pretend to be cool, flexing next to, you know, uh, emasculated animals that pose no threat to anyone because they're drugged out of their mind. And then they, uh, like, vigorously over-moderate it. If you say anything even slightly negative towards them, like, if you even hint that she has any drama anywhere, you get immediately muted on the channel. Because she's trying to build up, like, a second audience that is supportive of her, and it's not going well because her vlogs suck and everyone hates her. Uh, well, that's your Chantal update. A little bit angrier than usual when it comes to Chantal, because I am... I, I I don't know. There's something about the way that that fucking Arab dude was like posing next to the the the, the lion that literally doesn't like. You can tell that it's declawed because lions can't retract their claws. Um, like they're not like house cats where their claws slink back in. The tigers are dangerous because they can never retract their claws. Even if they're not trying to hurt you, they can disembowel you on accident because they can't retract their claws. And you can look at the paws of the tiger and see no claws. And you're like, yeah, that means that the claws are gone. Um, no, sorry, tiger, tiger, not lion. But yeah, it's it's really gross seeing him pose. He's like, I'm, I'm not afraid at all. I have no, I have zero percent fear in my whole body. Like, yeah, I bet because it's a drugged up lion. You could molest that lion. You could stick a finger in its asshole, and it wouldn't do anything to you. And you think that you're hardcore because you're standing next to it flexing when a six hundred pound woman just did the exact same thing. Trust me, if it was hungry, it would have eaten her first. <laughs> Because they could just knock her over. Even drugged up, it could knock her over and she wouldn't even be able to get back up. This disgusting chat, disgusting. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.